Mr Agnew. I didn't go on that uh, visit, but actually I would have liked to have done, because uh, it's obviously very well organised and you saw quite a lot. I did, in 2009, drive from top to bottom of Finland uh, along the eastern side, and it was very interesting with the road maps, whereas Finland has a good network of properly tarmac roads. Over the border in Russia, there were hardly any roads marked on the map at all. And that struck myself and my wife, the difference between capitalism and communism, that Finland had managed to make a country that was uh, pleasant to live in just through politics, whereas over the border in Russia, it must have been miserable to have been on that side. Uh, I just wondered... Um, Mrs. Katerna, if you could tell me if there's still a sugar beet industry in Finland. I know there used to be, but is there still now? Would you like to di uh, reply directly to that question? Thank you, Chair. I'm going to answer in Finnish. In Finland, uh, as regards the farming of sugar beet is concerned, there are very few farms still farming sugar beet because it has been downgraded. It's only the southwest part of the country where there are a couple of farms. We only have one sugar refinery left in Finland and very little sugar beet farming. So in the recent years, it has been really gone down the hill. And thank you very much also to all the colleagues who participated in this delegation trip. And thank you for these warm words. And welcome to Finland again in future. I hope you come back.